Hi everyone, so um, I just got my um, AS Arts work from um, last year and this is the first scene and I'd like to show you um, my book and the project was about Sanctuary so we looked at different artists at the beginning that was David Hockney this is made out of watercolours this was probably like the first time I used watercolours I didn't really use them the right way, um, I basically used them how I would use acrylics. And then that's Edward Hopper and I did that out of um, acrylic and Peter Dyg, um, they tested out different um, materials to use and that's oil pastels, cho chocol and that's acrylic. Hello Coco! That's my cats. That's George Shaw, so um with this with this one um my art teacher started teaching us about um watercolours and I was just trying to get used to it and that's with um chalk pastels and then Wyeth, I think that's how you pronounce the name. I really like kind of the um, green tones that he uses in the silhouette in the images. So I tried it out with watercolours and acrylic to test out different wet medias. And then that's uh, Turner. It kind of creates these abstract um, looks. They're really expressive. I tried it out with watercolours. I think it would be best if I used um, much thicker materials such as um, acrylics. Apparently that's meant to be a ship over here. I think the mistakes with this project is that I always copied the artist instead of actually um, taking a picture, my own pictures, and trying to interpret his work. Um, this is a brainstorm that I did. And some more brainstorms, like brainstorming artists, how we could develop our work or take our idea further. And... This is Sani's pencil. I think this artist I used a lot. I really like his portraits and the lightning that he uses. My cat is being so adorable today. She's like sitting down doing nothing. She usually just walks right on my work. So um, I copied his work. I was really happy with it at first, but then looking back at it, I think I could have done better as my skills had developed. I liked how I've done his hair over here. I used a toothpick to um, draw it and so that it gets this texture. These are photocopies by the way, I did them in a smaller book. And then I looked at William Morris. Um, I tried out different ways of um, interpreting his work or copying his work and I used different materials and that's ceramic paint. It's usually used um, to, to, to paint on um, mugs and ceramic items and it has kind of a gloss to it. It takes ages to dry and that's with um, pencils, colouring pencils. And then that's kind of my way of showing kind of the idea that I want to go with. It's not a really good idea to um, draw yourself in your imagination, that's what I did. Um, it's out of proportion and it just does not work out well. So these are just kind of experiments of um, how I could like the compositions and what I can do with it. I was trying to go for the cultural look of my own culture. Yes, I am Arabic. I've drawn my mom. I'll turn this around so that you can see it. That's with acrylics. Yeah, um, I think that, um, it's an okay try, but I think I could have done it better. The face looks a bit too dark than the image. Previously I didn't have any sense of dark and lightness in the skin tone, but this obviously developed over time. And I tried out, I went back to Bayeth and tried out, um, more medias. I think I worked from my imagination over here. Use acrylic, oil pastels, and water pencils and water. 
that's an artist I found online, but um, she does kind of cards and postcards. She's not famous and that's what could drag your marks down, so you should always try to find more popular artists. Um, so I tried out um, her version by kind of by using um, patterned paper because I didn't have any more paper on me, and I used to and I tried to paint over it with um, acrylics, so it's kind of like all collage. These are some experiments and some swatches. So over here, I experimented with um, using different collages, media, cardboard. Um, I think that's sugar paper to create kind of the scene that I want in my mind. It's not a good idea to work from your mind again. It does drag your grades down unless if you do it really professionally then it won't which I haven't really done it these are kind of some rough drawings of, from my imaginations again over here it's a drawing of my mum they're all not in proportion sadly however I like this watercolored one this one's okay but it's too dark and that one looks like Elmo oh look I'm Elmo okay there's people like him that just looks <laughs> really <laughs> creepy and then I went for um, responding to um, Frida Carla because I wanted to respond to my own, um, like, relating it to culture and that's what she does. She relates it to her cu culture and kind of relates it to herself. So she has a portrait looking at her and then she describes that she's kind of a really strong woman. She's really tough. So she has the jungle and all the bits around her which really interested me. Um, I used some colouring pencils and I tried out some over here with acrylic. I was really impressed with this one. Um, so basically I drew this with, that's my grandfather by the way, I drew this with acrylics and I stuck on um, some collage over the background to show Hello Coco, thank you for walking in my work. <laughs> okay. Do you want to say hi to them? Move! They're looking at it. Move your butt. <laughs> okay, um so yeah, I saw some collages like golden and sugar paper, which is amazing. And um some card, Arabic newspaper because it's an Arabic culture. That's all from the mind. <laughs> I drew like some little Arab people over here, which looks really not good. <laughs> That's the intentions page, I can resources, suck them in. That's like the contact sheet that I took. And, and that's my mom again. That's with, um, don't drink the ink, go, go. Um, that's with a fine liner. It was, I think, quick, tw like 20 to an hour minute sketch. I was impressed with it. <laughs> I don't even know why I have this page. Basically, I'm not good at drawing lips and ears, so I wanted to try them out. That is like the best thing I've ever done. It's with um, watercolors and watercolored pencils. And I was really impressed with it because it looks quite really realistic. And because it's my first year using um, watercolours as the right way, I was really impressed with it. And I've got the proportions right. If you're asking why I have lines on my images, what I do is that to get the proportions right, I just fold the images to make um, like four by four. And then so that you could map out where you are. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, puzzle, which makes it more fun and gets it right, but could be more time consuming. That's that's an artist. She works with her sister. They're twins um, from India, and then they draw um, famous people. That's um, Princess Diana, and they have things around that describe her. For example, um, that's she's holding the queen. She's showing that she's the queen and the heart. She's a really lovable person. So I thought that it could be interesting if I used her. 
over here I photocopied her work and I really liked over here how she kind of uses this sketchy um this sketchy thing on the mask so I first copied my previous work and tried to experiment with the sketchy part. These are some I'm testing out the ways that the compositions so that's kind of looking straight at you on the side. Um probably should have took more time doing it. I was also um, testing out the backgrounds and how she over here um she uses wallpaper, which in my mind it looks like um, a window. So I thought maybe if I do a window and then have the um, kind of the trees and the um, Arabic environment at the background, so it's like the person is in, at the front and then there is a window, and then at the back there is the Arabic background as if he's looking outside of the window. So I tried out different ways. I used sticks and. Um, card and I cut it out and stuck it and then I downloaded some images from the internet of windows and Arabic decorations to see um, ways that um, like different Arabic windows and to show kind of my idea of what I want to do um, then I tried it out so I took one image and I drew it I painted it with acrylics and then I stuck the um, cardboard cutouts like this one and then we do some really fast sketches at class like I think 5-10 minute sketches of compositions and stuff like that they do like these do need more refining these are kind of okay because they're meant to be kind of one line drawings and I think I one of them is left-handed or something, I don't even bother to write it down. Oops, missed out a page. This is another composition of looking at the side. I really liked how it turned out well, the detail on the um, hand. I tried out the same background to see how it looks. However, after we, ha we have some tutorials in class which um, they said it's best if I do the one looking front, this one. Hello kitty! Yeah, this one. Even though I did not like it because I basically did brush it out. So I did go with other people's opinions. And my teacher said that um, because I did it out of cardboard, it looks really popped out. So it, um, it distracts the viewer a lot. Um, so I tried out different um, backgrounds. This was actually a design that my mom created. It has um, it has Muhammad on it. That's meme ha meme dal in Arabic, and it goes on and on. Like I like how it looks like. So, um, and I thought about maybe having my grandfather and then having my mom's design, and then I am the painter, so that we are all connected like as a family. So I tried out um, masking tape it using. And also using um, masking glue, the you know, that thing that looks like fish. Sorry, smells like fish. Yeah, you know, these are just different ways of drawing it. They're all from my imagination again, and it should have been something else. And basically, I photocopied my previous ones and tried out maybe having the decorations because the artist had um, decorations and like those sketches, but. I didn't really want to risk it because I thought maybe the image might look, the painting might look really good and then um, if I put these all scratches it might look really modern and it might ruin the whole thing. I tested out a palette knife. Where are you going? Continue. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's my first time using it. I was just trying to test it out. It did work out good with the, kind of the clothing. Um, and then that's with acrylic, just using a brush. And I think we'll go. So after that, um, I did my final piece. Yeah, um, I did it on a really huge canvas. And um, so I had the repetitiveness at the back, and then I've got um, a tree over here at the back. Then some birds, which look really fake, and then 
I've got the kind of the mask here, but it doesn't show up, and then the sky, and then the sand, the mountains. I was really impressed with it. I mean, I would look at it and say, oh my god, did I actually do this? And many people thought it was actually a photograph. Um, but you could realise that from the mouth, it kind of a little bit too small but other than that I really like how it looks and that wasn't really that good I'm not really good at painting clothes but at the end it was quite really nice hello we were told to at the last I think two three weeks um I think in June somewhere there they told us to improve our work so that's like after the unit two exam. But I didn't want to improve this because I didn't even want to touch it because I, I don't like refining work. Because when something is done, I feel that it shouldn't be touched again. It's a piece of art. And maybe if I even touch it, it will just ruin the whole thing. So they just told me kind of to name it as if alternative ideas. I don't know why my grandfather looks so dark here. Basically, it's bad drawing. Yes, I do make mistakes, I'm not a perfectionist. And I try to write Arabic writing, trust me, that doesn't even make sense. I mean, if you're Arabic, you could, try, <laughs> you could try reading it and it will not make sense because my Arabic is not good. I just basically wrote random things. I haven't been, I haven't, um, done Arabic for a really long time, maybe seven, seven years, something like that. And um, that's with um, oil pastels. And then I looked images from the internet and I tried to draw a bit more um, with, I think that's all um, watercolors and then that's um, acrylic. These are the images I took from the internet. And then that's the, um, I did like another final piece. And I really brush, I mean, it looks good over here. That's my grandma, by the way. It looks really good here, but, um, I did it on cardboard and, um, I really rushed it because I only had two days to do it, I think. I mean, this took about two weeks, nine days a week around that. And then this one, I just rushed it, which the large scale looked really bad, even though my teacher was like, oh my God, it looks really expressive um, because the strokes were really bad. But he's quite confusing. He always says my work is good, but I know sometimes it's not. Um, so that's it. That's my unit one work. Um, I hope you liked it. Please, um, maybe you could write a comment for me. Hello, go, go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You could write a comment for me, um, telling me what you think about my work. You could try to subscribe for more. Um, I will be trying to post more um, work and paintings. I'm trying my best to post every week. Um, so, bye.